Uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, a little bonus content this week. Um, not railway related for once, but I thought um, it'd be interesting to talk about some um, slightly odd modelling um, I've done this week. Um, kind of to show that, you know, skills are transferable. Sometimes people think of themselves as um, railway modellers or military modellers, but a lot of the skills um, can be used for other things, shall we say. So, um, my eldest son has had a birthday recently. Um, and uh, this weekend we're seeing uh, family uh, and I made a cake. Now he's gone through a bit of a an Egyptian uh, fascination phase at the moment. Um, so <clears throat> the cake um, isn't going to be particularly anything special. I'm just doing kind of multiple layers but making them square and smaller to get a kind of stepped pyramid. Uh, but I wanted something to um, decorate it with. And a quick search online and I came across this mould. Um, if you search for kind of sarcophagus mould um, then these pop up all over the place. I'll put a, a link um, to the eBay one that I actually uh, bought in the description. Um, but it's for obviously a two-part uh, sarcophagus. You can kind of work out this is the, the top of the sarcophagus with the pharaoh mask and stuff. And uh, this is the bottom of the sarcophagus that actually contains a partially unwrapped mummy. Um, now, <clears throat> um, I used some black ready to roll icing I bought. Uh, which probably isn't the best um, thing for trying to get out of the mould. I tried it a couple of times. Um, I just did the inside with icing sugar, put it in, let it dry for a little bit. Um, I tried it with some gum, tr gum trichanth as well to try and harden it up. Um, and while I could get the top out reasonably reliably, um, the bottom's a little bit more problematic. But let me show you what we ended up with. Um, slide it across. As I say, I don't want to damage it before it's been <laughs> put on a cake and eaten um, but yes yeah, so what we've got is we've got a sarcophagus that's um, gold now um, so we have the two parts the lid and the inside so you can have a look at the inside first um, so yeah you can see bandage wrapped mummy um, gold kind of outside so as I say I did this with some black ready to roll icing um, and then used some edible paints so um, I painted the whole mummy white um, and then repainted uh, the exposed part brown. The brown paint wasn't covering, wasn't showing up very well on the black icing on its own. And then the outside is a edible gold paint that was dry brushed on. So this is obviously, you know, how I do a lot of the weathering um, work on the railway models is the dry brushing to kind of pick out the, the highlights and the details. And you can see it's really worked well on the mold here. Um, as I said, getting this out of the mould was a bit tricky, so you can see this side's kind of collapsed and hasn't stayed up. So when I put the two parts together, there is a there is a bit of a gap, unfortunately. But hopefully, um, my son will be happy enough with the idea that he won't he won't care. Um, but this is the this is the top part. As you can see, it's come out really nicely. And again, the the kind of the gold the gold paints um, picked out the details really really nicely. I mean, again, you can see it's just it's just black um, black icing. Um, I've made this uh, a few days ago now and it's dried uh, it's dried quite nicely as the icing um, so yeah so just um, just to show that you know skills are transferable to things that we don't necessarily think of as, as modeling all the time I mean I'm guessing people who make cakes and, and, and um, icing sculptures and things all uh, regularly will consider what they do modeling but it, uh, to me making a cake is baking but this was something a bit different I don't think I've ever I've made cakes before um, with some um, complicated icing, I'll put some photos up if I can find them on the screen. I, I did a, I did a, I made a dinosaur out of sugar paste this year for uh, last year, for a birthday. I've done some Mister Men in the past. Um, I did a, a dragon uh, appearing out of a spell book quite a few years ago. I'll see if I can find the photos for that one. They're, they're maybe a bit harder to find, um, but I've never really thought of it as as modelling too much. But this one, obviously, with the idea of having to actually paint these things, was definitely. Um, Definitely something different, something I'd not done before, and I thought it was just um, for a little bonus video this week was worth was worth showing this. Hopefully, um, hopefully my son will enjoy looking at them briefly before he probably eats the icing um, as well as the cake. Um, so yeah, interesting. Um, it's uh, I, I don't think things transfer the other way so well, so I'm not going to necessarily be making uh molds or buying molds necessarily for parts due to the you know i've got the 3d printer i don't necessarily need that for the for the modeling but it's uh 
it's interesting. I, I am wondering whether there's something else I can put in this that will set better and then I can get out so I can get one that I can actually make a a kind of solid, um, you know, plaster version or something for him. Uh, we shall see. If I do that, then obviously I might I might do another video. But for now, um, yeah, a sarcophagus. Not what I expected to appear on the channel, but there you go. Hopefully you've uh, you've enjoyed looking at that.